Calculate the mass of silver that is formed when a current of 0.4 amperes is passed through a solution of silver nitrate for 15 minutes. So calculate the mass. So you remember the Varadei zero the way it states. So first we calculate the quantity of electricity that is passed through. So quantity of electricity is equal to current is equal to current I times time. This time must be always in seconds. So current here we have 0 0.4 amperes times time is 15 minutes times 15 times 6 to convert the time to seconds. This one will give us 360 coulombs. Remember quantity of electricity passed through during electrolysis, electrolysis is measured in coulombs. The SI unit is in coulombs. So silver was formed. So the mass of silver, remember silver is AG positive. It has only a variance of one. So meaning that one mole of silver ions is equal to one mole is equal to nine, uh, 96 500 coulombs and this one is equal to RAM one mole is equal to RAM RAM of silver is 108 grams so what will be the mass for the heat the quantity of electricity that is gave us 360 coulombs so we are asking what will be the mass so it is 360 times 108 by 96 500 and this one will give us 0 0.4 grams so 0 0.4 grams will be produced of silver calculate the mass of copper copper that will be formed when current of 0 0.7 amperes is passed through a solution of copper to sulfate for 25 minutes rm of copper is 64 so first we can get the quantity which is current times time current here is 0 0.7 times time is 25 minutes times 60 to convert minutes to seconds so this one will give us uh, the now the total heat or the total and electricity that was passed through to be 10 50 coulombs so, so. but copper remember copper is too positive so the charge is too positive so one charge when the charge is one it contains 996 thousand five hundred coulombs if the charge is two then it, it, it is two moles so, so. so one mole of ions of copper contains 96 500 coulombs we will want to know two moles that is 22 what will it contain so it will be 2 times 96 500 coulombs and this one will give us uh, take your calculator do you assist me? You will find it is 93,000 coulombs. So I want to remember that one mole of copper, two ions, requires two moles of electrons because it has two electrons. Remember, one electron is equal to one Fahrenheit, one electron, one charge. Like for silver, it has only one electron. Therefore, one electron is equal to one Fahrenheit. So, one electron is equal to one Fahrenheit. And one Fahrenheit is equal to, to, to 96, 500 coulombs. So, if the charge is 2, it means it has 2 Fahrenheit. So, 2 Fahrenheit is equal to 2 times this one, which is equal to this. Very good. Now, this means that 
one mole Cu2 positive now will contain 19 3000 coulombs which is equal to RAM so it means 193 coulombs is equal to RAM one mole is equal to 64 grams remember this RAM is in mass so we will ask what will be 1050 coulombs B 1050 times 64 divided by 193 zero, zero, zero. and this one will give us 0 0.35 grams how much time in minutes will be required to form 0 0.504 grams aluminium metal when a current of 1.2 amperes is passing through a solution of aluminium nitrate RAM of aluminium is 27 kwa hivyo sasa hii tunafanya reverse tumepewa mass we are looking for time what time kwa hivyo sasa kitu tunajua there is one thing we know that oh, one mole of aluminium so three ions aluminium we write in ionic form requires three moles or three varanides let me use three varanide of three moles of electrons but we know one one Fahrenheit and I ndiko nimekuambia kwamba one electron one electron is equal to one so if there are three more electrons then we will have three erect, uh, we will have three Fahrenheit we know that one Fahrenheit is equal to 96 500 coulombs is it, yeah 500 coulombs so we will ask three Fahrenheit will contain for what how many so it will be 96 500 times 3 and this one will give us 289500 coulombs so it means that one mole of aluminium 3 positive will have 289500 coulombs and one more of an element of an ion or element or what is equal to RM and the RM of aluminium is 27 so and there is always in grams but we were given that uh, hmm, what were we given we were given the mass of aluminium produced so if one mole is equal to this coulombs and it is equal to this so 27 grams it has this uh, quantity of electricity what about 0 0.5 0 0.504 grams that to bear which quantity so that one will be 5 0 0.504 times 289 divided by 27 So this one will give us 5404 coulombs so this is the quantity of electricity uh, this 0 0.504 will contain quantity but we know quantity of electricity is equal to current times time quantity which is 55404 coulombs is equal to current which is 1.2 times time so we want time we divide by 1.2 by 1.2 so time is equal to 400 remember time is in seconds this one will give us 45 03 seconds we will ask you to give time in minutes we know one one uh, one hour equal to 360 oh i mean okay we can to, we convert this one to minutes by dividing 60 simple so one minute equal to 60 seconds 
you will ask 400 and you repeat how many so it is 4503 to 5 by 60 it will give us 75 minutes 75 minutes electrolysis of an aqueous solution of a salt m resulted in a deposition of 1.07 grams of the metal upon passage of a current of this 475 calculated the charge of the metal ion rm is this one faraday is equal to that one faraday represents one electron is equal to this if there are two electrons it means two faradays three electrons the charge it gives you that very nice So, we have current, we have time. So, you can start by calculating the quantity. The quantity will be current times T, which is equal to 75 times current 3, 1.32. And this one gives us, but times 60, sorry, because this time must be converted to seconds. This one gives us uh, 59, 40, Gurums. So, but we were given that this mass, this quantity of electricity was able to produce 1.07 grams. So we will say that uh, 59 four zero Gurums was able to produce 1.07 seven grams what will be the mass what will be the quantity of electricity for if the rm is 52 52 grams will be what the rm rm which is one more that is 52 times 59 40 divided by 1.07 and the answer is 288 673 coulombs fine but we know that this one now has got um, we don't know how many Fahrenheit's are here but we know that one Fahrenheit is equal to one electron electron and it equal to remember one electron is equal to the charge the charge is one and then is equal to 96 500 coulombs one Fahrenheit one electron is equal to this so we will ask 288 673 coulombs would it be how many electrons would it be how many Fahrenheit because one electron and one Fahrenheit is the same so now it is 288 673 divided by 96 this one gives us 2.99 2.99 so that means the answer is 3 you round off this is rounding off so it means the charge of the metal is m3 positive this is the charge of the metal the metal m maybe we calculate the charge so it is this or you can put it the charge is positive 3 so it is 3 Fahrenheit